Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Pure Farming 2018. So where we left off in our last video is we got quite a bit of money. You can see in the top left hand corner, almost $91,000 now. And we've been talking about getting back into the greenhouses since they, after some updates, are now providing with quite a bit of money per day. And also the return on investment is very, very quick. Doesn't take long to get your money back from your original investment on the greenhouses these days. So we're gonna get into that, and also I am dying to get into the field work. I've been doing some testing over the last couple of days there, and it is far from perfect with the AI. They are in the low 90s for me as far as percent of the work that they're completing. Uh, they're still missing some rows, sometimes full rows, uh, and it doesn't look the prettiest, but at some point I'm just ready to get back going, even if it's not anywhere near 100% efficiency on that just because i mean hey it's a farming game i'm ready to do some field work and i've held out uh, a good long while here since the first couple of videos where we did a little bit of uh, field work and then it went away from it for a while but before we get into any more of that discussion we need to come in and take a look at our notifications and you can see we got a lot of stuff going on right now our orchards are still a couple of days before they are going to be uh, ready for another cycle to be completed but all of our animals are ready to be dealt with and that brings us to an interesting development in the cow barn so let's head over actually to the cow barn uh, i'm actually going to hop in and let's move okay just wanted to make sure i got that up and off the ground let's move our manure trailer back over there Get that one attached and i'm telling you i'm just i'm loving the look of these the dirty equipment here it's just it's speaking to me so it may be a while before i decide to wash at least most of these all right so we head over to the cowboy and you can see there is quite a bit of manure already there not sure percentage wise where that is uh, let's see 49 percent. okay so we've got a a full trailer load of manure ready for us all right, we're gonna go ahead and empty that. What about our slurry? Slurry tank's at 10%, so not quite where we need to be for a full load there. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna park our tractor there for a moment. We're gonna hop out and head over to cow bar number one. So we've been letting these cows go for quite a while, and now you can see we ha now have 45 old cows so we've been worrying about you know have they patched that situation between day 12 and day 13 and they have because we never reached that point where everything maxed out at 100 percent like i talk about in the guide video for the cows so that's now gone they've patched that out just as i figured they would eventually just didn't know when so now we there we have our confirmation that we have 45 old cows so of course that tells us, and even that is not that big a deal. They're not worth as much now, uh, but they still produce milk. As you can see, we got 4% instead of 6% milk for uh, the day. And they're still worth more than what we originally paid for them. So it's not that big a deal to us. And now we'll go ahead and sell all of these off. Okay, and let's see, one of the updates that they supposedly had was that we wouldn't have to leave this circle anymore to buy new ones. Uh, that didn't look like it didn't happen. Unless I'm misunderstanding what they meant by that, we definitely have to leave the circle and come back in. All right, so let's go ahead and spam that buy button and get 45 new calves, and we'll start the cycle all over again. All right, so no big deal there. And so now let's see, where are we on uh, the fodder? We are at 71%. Let's go ahead and max that out, actually. There we go. A little over $1,300 to get that maxed out. And we'll start using the fodder as uh, an idea of where we are in the growth cycle of the calves for now. And also you can do the same thing with uh, the milk very easily. All right, so if we come back in to our notifications, cow barn one, now taken care of. Cow barn 
Um, number one, it also says has resources. Of course, that's the milk. We're going to let that ride. That's We're not ready to do any collecting on that just yet. And now cow barn number two, we have animals that are ready to go, but we have, we've learned from the past that this 100% now means that our calves have turned to adult cows. It's now been the three days, and now we have 15 days before they turn into old cows. So we're not ready to do anything there either. Now what we are ready to do is deal with our pig styes. So let's come out of there, and we'll trot our way over. Let's see, I'm going to hit the caps lock, which is the always run. And we'll toggle that on and simply make our way over to the pigsty. All right, there we go. Let's hop in here. We'll go ahead and sell. We'll go ahead and sell both of these while we're here. There we go. And one more time. Let's see. Make sure. Nope, it's still. It's going to make us leave the circle before having to come back in. Alright, so we'll get our 20 piglets back in there. And now we need to go to our cars, transfer over to those, and it's time to buy more here. We still have 52% fodder, but I'm going to go ahead and max that out again. Go ahead and refill that. Make sure we keep it where we need it. Okay, let's get back over to... Alright, so let's really quickly get an update on where things are. So we've got cow bar 1 and 2 in there, which we know we're good on those. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a, a load in here. See if we can't get a little bit of this manure loaded up. I'm going to try to do this in a little bit of a hurry. There we go. There you go. You see, you just have to get it down low enough and the bucket at the right angle so that it will automatically fill up for you. And then we'll run it over here. And you can do this actually pretty quickly now. Again, it's not pretty to look at the way I'm loading it. But nonetheless, it is getting the job done for sure. Of course, we're doing this with the heavy tractor because it has a much easier time getting up and over the edge of that trailer a much easier time. There we go. So we're knocking this out pretty quickly. And this will be a nice sum of money. If you look in the top right hand corner, we are sitting at just under 120000 right now. Oop, I thought I had backed out too far. Again, that's what happens whenever you are trying to hit the X key to go to the front end loader, and what you end up doing is hitting the reverse key. But I've gotten so used to hitting the X key now, at this point, I don't really want to remap it. Because then I have to start all over again, relearning everything. You can see this is going rather quickly. So we're going to be right at uh, getting rid of all of the manure in storage by the end of this trailer load. So we're down to 31%, so we are moving right along, about 15% or so. We've gotten out of there. 
so far. So you can see, once you... Oh, come on. A little farther. Oh, didn't realize I was quite that far away from it. There we go. Let me get my camera situated back again. Thankfully, the game is is set up to allow the last little bit at the top of that tra the trailer itself uh, shows up as as letting you pass right through it and has no collision on it. Because otherwise, um, I wouldn't be able to get the bucket away from the trailer. Because for whatever reason, once I am able to dump the bucket over, I can't bring the bucket back up. I can no longer move it until I back away from that trailer. So something about it is getting hung there. And thankfully, the game has mercy on me and allows me to take care of it by simply ignoring the collision on the top of the trailer. Because otherwise, we would be stuck right there in that spot. Right about there. Because it's sure enough, it will let me continue to lower it, but it will not let me raise it. All right, 24% remaining. All right, that $120,000 should definitely allow us to get done what we want to get done with the greenhouses. Because before we can get started with our greenhouses, we're going to need to purchase some equipment. Because as I've mentioned before, I don't like the idea of sharing equipment because what I end up doing is I'll end up with equipment all over the place. And so I prefer the, being able to purchase dedicated equipment to the different areas and just leave that equipment there even though it's not necessarily the, the cheapest way of doing it. Alright, so you can see our trailer is getting starting to get full but we still got a little bit of room in here I think it's somewhere around 46 percent if I remember 46 or 48 percent of the manure storage capacity is what we have the ability uh, to store in here so we'll simply see how that works out for us sure you guys can hear that phone ringing in the background unfortunately I am not in a position where I can have that turned off right now I am expecting a phone call what I hope to be an important phone call but we shall see that didn't turn out to be it however All right, 11% remaining, and we're going to get pretty close to zero here. Not all the way, though. Let's get up a little bit closer. Yeah, we're at a point now where we basically have to drive into the storage with the tractor in order to reach the manure with the bucket. I'd say that was far enough. All right, there we go. That was the last load. You can see we have just a little bit left in the bucket. All right, let's go ahead and get our bucket taken care of. Let's move our, Ooh, okay, or we could just go that far around. All right, that should be far enough off the ground. So here over the next few game days, we'll start to get 
manure and also the liquid manure or the slurry filling up in our second cow barn because now we have a situation where we have a fully upgraded cow barn number two that we can start to count on for this extra income as well as cow barn number one. Because all 45 of those calves in cow barn number two are now full grown cows so they'll start to produce milk, slurry, and the solid manure. So lots of income forthcoming for that. Alright, at this point I'm just assuming that these little stutters and jitters as the map has to load whenever we hit certain parts of it where, you know, come over a hill or something where the map has to really draw in uh, a lot of objects. I'm just assuming those little stutters are here to stay. That is my assumption at this point. Who knows, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised at some point in the future and they will either decrease or go away, but not really counting on it at this point. Also with our orchards, I know we've still got uh, one or two more days. I forget now what we actually saw in the menu, but we've got a little time, but it's supposed to rain here within the next day or two, so that may interrupt our cycle on the orchards and also may actually hurt our eventual yield. But I decided to go ahead and get the orchards going again, even if that does happen, just to keep the cycle going. Now, if we saw something on the seven-day forecast where, for example, the day after uh, we were getting our our latest income from them and the cycle was, had ended, if I saw that like for the next two days it was supposed to rain, then I probably wouldn't mess with it based on that. But if we're in a position like we were this time where there were two or three days before it was supposed to rain, I'll take that chance. And we'll simply keep going with the cycle that way, even if it means that we get um, a reduced amount from it. All right, so I forget exactly how much we got. It was over 5,000, I believe, last time we sold manure over here if I remember correctly. I want to say like 52, 5300. So again, a very, very nice chunk of change that will enable us to do some really good things to get started for the greenhouse. Get our equipment going, our dedica dedicated equipment, and of course, purchase the fully upgraded greenhouse. this manure sold. Let's see how close I was on my guess. Ooh, 5166. All right, so 52, 5300. Bottomed out there for a second with the trailer, I believe. I think that was the hitch. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up the map. No need to drive all the way back. Uh, instead, we will simply click on There we go. All right, let's go ahead and hop out of the tractor. And let's see. So we've got one, two, three. So we've got a little bit of room here for new equipment. We may need to actually move some of these out of the way. Of course, we've got our manure trailer, our slurry tank there, and then our cow tractor. Let's come in and take a quick look. Now, we know we're going to need a few things here. Again, if we're going to have... Uh, dedicated equipment. So we're going to go ahead and pick up our blue trailer. I know there are, is at least one other trailer, I believe, that can carry the uh, bag fertilizer, but we're just going to stick with the blue trailer. It does a good enough job uh, as far as I am concerned, so we'll just stick with it for now, and I might do a little testing and see if there's another one. This particular, uh, our green trailer that we've used in the past will not work for the fertilizer. Uh, I, tr I tested it out, and unfortunately, it would not work. That'd be great, though, if it would. All right, so we're going to move this to, there we go, slot number one and shed number one. 
Okay, then we also need a trailer to pick up. Uh, let's see, we're going to need one of these as well. But first, let's go get our tractor. And we'll just use the basic tractor. Um, not all that powerful, but it's good enough to do what we need to do. So let's go ahead and purchase one of those. There we go. Now let's go back to our trailers. And we're going to pick that one up. Okay, so then the other thing we're going to need is water. But before we get into that... Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and move this one out of the way. Again, this is why I don't, one of the reasons why I don't like to store things in the trailers, or excuse me, in the sheds rather. And that is because anytime I'm ready to purchase stuff, I wouldn't have anywhere for it to go. All right, let's look. And under the tractors, Okay, yeah, this will work. Let's go ahead and purchase. Yeah, there we go. That'll be perfect. Again, this little blue trailer doesn't quite have the storage we need to max out the available uh, fertilizer in the greenhouses, but it's good enough to do the job for now. And then hopefully later on we'll learn of one of the other trailers that will actually accept the bag fertilizer. There we go, let's stop here. And of course we're gonna fill this up with what will amount to that $360 gets us 90% of the fertilizer that can be held in one of these greenhouses. And then we'll be back here shortly to deal with the water tank situation. All right, so the one we're gonna purchase first is right over here, simply because it's the closest to the water tank. So we'll start with that one. And we're gonna get this thing fully upgraded. No need to mess around with the initial size of the greenhouse. We might as well go ahead and max it out. Okay, let's go ahead and stop get out here so we can make our purchase there we go let's go ahead and go with the peppers haven't gone with the peppers in a little while okay we'll back out of the circle and there you can see our sign upgrade it for another ten thousand dollars and absolutely that is a great deal Okay, so now we can see our 0% on fertilizer and water. Well, we're going to take care of the fertilizer part right now. There we go, 90% done on that. Now we need to get our water tank. And we'll be back shortly with it. As long as we can keep some fertilizer and some water in there, it will continue to grow. It doesn't have to be 90 or 100 percent uh, to continue the growth cycle. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and for now we'll park our fertilizer machines over here out of the way come back into the storefront and again we've already got a water tank that I could simply bring over here but we're not gonna do that okay let's go ahead and get the big water tank twelve thousand dollars there we go Woo! hello how about that for disconnecting that's an adventure There we go. Now we got our water tank ready to go. It looks weird to, to see all these clean implements and tractors. 
I'm gonna have to get a little dirt on them and get them broken in. So this track, this tractor is definitely underpowered to be pulling around a full water tank, uh, but for no more work than we needed to do and no farther than we needed to travel from time to time, it should be no issue whatsoever. All right, so the greenhouses, once we get this full tank of water loaded up, that'll be 100% in the greenhouse. So that lines up perfectly. Then it'll be 14 hours before we will be able to get our first growth cycle completed and we'll get our first harvest. Yeah, this tractor is, it's huffing and puffing right now. trying to pull this thing. Of course, it's only got about 73, 75 horsepower, somewhere in that range. So it's not, definitely not very powerful. All right, there you go. Now the growth will begin. And we are in great shape to move forward. Go ahead and get our water tank loaded out of the way. Now, here's where, based on some of my testing, that the greenhouses are going to uh, be a really great return for us. I can actually go ahead and disconnect from that and come back over to our, oh, look at that. Look at that, how it bounced around and got itself in a great position there. But the greenhouses should require very little effort from us. All right, let's see if we can hook back up. All right, it seems to like that. And everything looks good until you try to disconnect. All right, let's go ahead and hop out and take a glance under our notifications. And there we go. Actually, it says 20 hours for the peppers. Interesting. So tomatoes were 14 hours for me. And again, unless they've done something else and snuck another update in there for me. So it's going to be 20 hours for that and we'll see how that goes. But for now, we'll be back in 20 hours. All right, we are back and it is early morning of day number 27 here on the farm and our peppers are ready to go. You can see them all stacked up nice and neatly for us in the back. But as important as that, let's take a look at our percentages. You can see the next growth cycle has already started. It's at 5%. But look at the fertilizer and water level, 70 and 81% respectively. That is the big deal because that means it's going to be a little while, several cycles before we have to take care of any more, adding any more fertilizer or water. Okay, game, please stop going crazy on me. All right, so let's go ahead and unload all of these peppers. That is the main benefit as far as I'm concerned. The fact that it is a little bit more hands-off than it was in the past. So now we can simply just pick up our bounty and go sell it. Or we could, of course, put it in storage and sell it from there if we choose to for a little bit less of a profit. But if you'll notice in the top right-hand corner, look at how much money we now have. That is just enough to purchase yet another greenhouse. So that's exactly what we're gonna do on our way by. Go ahead and hop out, and we're going to purchase this one for fifteen thousand. We're going to go ahead. I tell you what, let's uh, let's do tomatoes in this one. We're going to see if the growth is the same amount of time. There we go. So let's go ahead and do the upgrade as well, and that'll take nearly all of our money for now but of course we're getting ready to sell these peppers okay so we're all set on that greenhouse we'll be back shortly to take care of both the fertilizer and the water needs and fortunately for us we don't have very far at all to go 
in order to sell what we need to sell here. Right, we'll take the long way around. I'm trying to not give in to the urge <laughs> of driving straight across the field, which is definitely the quicker way. Yeah, this is where you get a lot of stutters as it's trying to draw in everything in the distance as opposed to when we were sort of down in that little bit of on the other side of that hill wasn't as much to draw in. Okay, so we saw it's going to be 20 hours for the peppers. We'll see how many hours we get before our first harvest of the tomatoes. Again, as I've mentioned before, this playthrough isn't so much about the money. I mean, we want to make as much money as we can, but it's more about experiencing a lot of the different things that the game has uh, to offer as much as anything, which is why eventually we're going to be headed abroad to some of the other maps. But I want to get a good, steady income going on this map before we do that. And right now we are closing in on a hundred grand per growth cycle right now of income. Not necessarily per day, but per growth cycle. So let's see how much we're able to get. Not bad. Almost $6,200 from that particular harvest. And remember, we're going to get a few more harvests before we're going to have to worry about putting any more fertilizer or water in the container. So that's going to be huge for us. Because that will enable us to simply worry about picking up our produce and making off with the sale before we have to worry too much about uh, any more demands from the greenhouse itself. All right, so we're actually going to drop our trailer off right here next to our milk tank. This is a great storage area. There we go. There's our nice little bump into the air. It's a great storage area. I've seen a few things bug out from being uh, stored too close to one another, so I try to space them out a little bit. Get our milk tank. There we go. Get it loaded up. So that was a nice tidy sum of money that we picked up for a little less than a day. Okay, we'll head straight back to the back road, which will take us right over to our water tower. So in a very short amount of time, we have been able to get not only the equipment we need to take care of the greenhouses but we've also been able to purchase our first two greenhouses of the three that we ultimately would like to have, which are the, all three that are in this area. Not necessarily interested in having all of the greenhouses on the map, uh, and in particular, the industrial greenhouse, those are just not worth the money right now, especially early on in the game. I mean, if you're late game and you've got more money than you know what to do with, then it's fine, but for right now, they just really don't offer for, for my liking anyway, they don't offer the return on investment that I would prefer. All right. Also, you'll notice that uh, with Easter, having been yesterday, there are Easter eggs around the map instead of the sapphires. There's one on the right as we, there you go. But they do, as far as I know, they do the same thing as the sapphires. You just collect those for a steam achievement, which I am not even remotely interested in. <laughs> 
Achievements are never something that have been interesting to me. See, the water goes all the way up to 100%. That will give us the ability to simply go and drop off our water tank. We'll pick up the fertilizer, and we'll be on our way right back. And then as soon as we drop off that fertilizer, I want to take a look and see how long it's going to be before we're able to pick up Oh, come on, game. Before we're able to pick up our first load of tomatoes. Okay, let's go ahead and fill up. But yeah, it would be nice to have a, a bigger trailer, and of course that would mean we'd need a bigger tractor, of course, but but it'd be nice to have a bigger trailer that we could fit uh, quite a bit more fertilizer in and just simply have it sitting around the farm for whenever we needed it. And I think we'll get there eventually if I can find another trailer that'll work good with that. Let's get this growth cycle started. There we go. And now, let's come into our notifications and let's see. So we've got 20 hours. There we go, 14 hours on the tomato. So if we want to get it done quicker, then tomatoes is definitely, definitely the crop that we're interested in. All right, let's head back over to our parking area. Then we'll hop off of this tractor and we'll take a quick look and see what's in store for our next video. All right, there we go. So now we've taken care of quite a bit in today's video. We got farther than I thought we would on the greenhouses. Been able to purchase not one, but two greenhouses actually. We've got two different crops growing in them and we've seen that there are two different amounts of time that it's going to take for each growth cycle for each crop. So not bad, a little bit of, of difference in the game, some, some flavor that they're adding. Let's take a look into our notifications. And now you can see that, of course, we're gonna ignore the cow barn right now. That's the milk percentage. So we'll be back to pick up that milk here in a few days once the percentage has a chance to get higher. So we'll be back to pick up that, that uh, milk for income. But now it looks like we've got we've got another day for the orchards. It looks, so it looks like we're going to make it through the entire growth cycle before uh, they need to be tended to and resprayed because of rain. We've got a couple more days to go before um, our animals once again. Let's take a quick look. And yeah, it looks like uh, today it's supposed to rain at some point. So we'll see how that affects the growth cycle. Hopefully it will hold off and actually let the growth cycle complete, but we'll see. And then after that, it looks like we've got clear sailing from that point forward. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we continue our gameplay series of Pure Farming 2018.